an American scientist has recently discovered other two types of blood genotypes. What did you say? Yeah, you heard me right. Other two types of blood genotypes. Really? Really, really. And scientists all over the world are supporting this discovery. If you are yet to check your genotype, do it now. If you are taking the test before, you can take it again just to be on the safer side for you to be sure and to know that yes, this is the genotype I have. A genotype is the genetic makeup of an individual. It is transferred from parents to children. To avoid the risk of having children with sickle cell genotypes, certain genotypes you can get married. Typically, there are five types of genotypes. They are AA, AS, AC, SC, and SS. While the first two pairs which we mentioned, the AA and the AS, are normal, AC is rare. And the others which are SS and the SC, are irregular and abnormal, commonly known for the sickle cell disease. It is very important that our genotype is compatible with that of our partner. Compatibility has to be there. Hence, there will be the risk of bearing children with sickle cell, which could be dangerous. Now, let's go to the compatibility chart of these genotypes, which will also include the new genotypes that have been discovered. AA is a special kind of genotype. AA can marry AA. AA can marry AS. AA can marry AC, AA can marry SC, and AA can marry AS. AS, which is as normal as the AA genotype, cannot marry a fellow AS. Do you remember what we said at the beginning of the video? It is transferred from parents to children. The AS genotype is made up of two genes from both parents. A from one parent and S from another parent. A is the normal hemoglobin from one parent, and the other S is a sickle cell trait that is inherited from another parent. The genotype AS, however, do not suffer from sickle cell disease symptoms, but they are carrier of the trait of that disease, that is that S. They are carrier of the trait of the sickle cell, but they don't suffer from sickle cell. So when they meet with another AS, which also has the sickle cell trait, which is the S you are seeing here, they now stand a 25% chance of having a baby of sickle cell out of four, out of four babies. And that amount to an unacceptable risk. The child will be very sick and you, the parent, would not rest. It's not 1%, not 2%, not 3%, not 4%, not 5%, not 6%. 25% that there will be one SS out of four children. That's a lot of risk to take. What if AS marries AC? AS marries AC is more or less just the same as marrying AS because the C there is a trait of sickle cell also. So if AS and AS is advised not to marry because each parent has a trait of sickle cell, which is the S and the, the S this side and the S on the other side. What about AS marrying SS or SS marrying SS? No, that can't work because the S there is too much. The sickle cell trait is too much. So it's not advisable for them to marry at all. But AS and AS, not advisable, but they can seek advice from a doctor. AS can only marry AA. AS plus AS should seek advice. AS plus AC should seek advice. AS plus SC cannot marry and AS plus SS cannot marry. There's nothing much to talk about the AC genotype. The AC genotype has one normal hemoglobin from one parent and another C, which is a sickle cell trait. It's just like the AS, but it's rare. AC is a very rare genotype and they can only marry AA. AC plus AS should seek advice. AC plus AC should seek advice. AC plus SC cannot marry. AC plus SS cannot marry. SC and SS may not be the same, but some people with the SC genotype can some, I said some, of the people with SC genotype can develop a, a variant of the of the sickle cell disease. Mind you, not all of the SC people are sick people, like the SS. SC can only marry AA, only AA, and cannot marry any other genotype. SS genotype is also called sickle cell anemia. This occurs when offspring inherit hemoglobin S from both parents. The, 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 the offspring inherited S from this parent and also inherited another S from the other parent. It's same too for SS genotype. SS can only marry AA and cannot marry other genotype. 
Now for the newly discovered genotype, PRO and the ROH. PRO stands for poor and ROH stands for rich. Poor plus poor cannot get married. Seek advice from people around you, your doctor and your family. Poor plus rich, very compatible, they are good to go. Rich plus rich can marry, they are good to go. Although their relationship do not last long, but many people want to be here. Marriage when both of you are poor, it can be very difficult also. You don't want to wake up to so a letter beside you. Why your wife or your husband is telling you? My dear loving husband, if you are saying this thing, I'm close to my destination. I am moving to the south where I heard the pasture is greener. Our biological genotype may have matched, <laughs> but the most important genotype, the financial genotype, didn't match. And it's a shame that we ignore the most important genotype test. I know you must be crying now. Just the way you always do whenever you read emotional letters. Don't let this affect you so much. Your hairline is pushing inside and you are getting bad hair already. Better use the strength you use in crying to get a job. I love you, but love is not enough. And guess who love you more? God in hell, your ex-wife. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video.